Hello, everyone, and welcome to my MLB Super League Excel spreadsheet. And I am in the middle of a game between the 1970 Orioles, who are at 1-6 and six against the 77 uh, Dodgers, currently at 3-3. Three and three. This is what the overall standings look like. I have a uh, strength of schedule. Uh, for wins and losses, I keep a quality score over here based on their wins and losses against the strength of their schedule. And this is the overall rank. And currently, I am in a game uh, in the middle of the sixth inning. And I'm getting ready to replace Tom Phoebus. His fatigue is five. So I'm going to replace him. He's doing pretty good. Uh, the Orioles were trailing two to nothing on a Rick Monday double, but we've had solo home runs by uh, Brooks, uh, an RBI single by Buford, and then we just had a solo home run by the Boog, giving the 70 Orioles a three to two lead. So I'm going to replace Phoebus, and I was just looking to see who to bring in. So I keep a, a fatigue meter going here. So I have. Uh, Pete Richard available and Eddie Watt available because they're green. So we'll go with Eddie Watt right now because he can do how many innings? His fatigue. By the way, I'm playing pocket pennant run baseball. What a cool, fun little game with a very small footprint. Eddie Watt can go one inning before his fatigue uh, kicks in. So we'll bring Eddie Watt in, see how that goes. So let me just close out the numbers for Phoebus. He went five innings, and I've got my calculations up here. So all I got to do is pop them in. Four hits, five walks, and four Ks. And then that zeroes out the numbers. So when I put in my new pitcher, I can easily put in his numbers as they accumulate from here on. So the batter here in the bottom of six is Ron Say, and these are my die for a pocket pennant run right here. So Ron Say is facing uh, Eddie Watt, who is a B uh, pitcher with C control, and the roll is a four against the B pitcher, and that's a defense roll. So we're looking at the pitcher's defense, and his defense is A, a5, and he makes the play. It's a ground out. Brings up Steve Yeager. Gets a roll of nine against the B. So we look at his batter card against the right-handed Watt. Yeager's right-handed as well, so he will go down to a C. C6 is a fly out. Brings up Rick Monday, a left-handed left batter. Uh, 11B, and that'll be to the batter's card. Rick Monday will be a, a C against a 12. Uh-oh, we're going to go to the power rating. Rick Monday's power rating is a C. C5. Oh, not deep enough. That's a fly out. Takes us to the top of the seventh, and Tommy John's fatigue is seven, so he's good right now. So we have a 10. And look at the numbers, by the way, on Tommy John. He's given up three runs, six hits, uh, but look at that, 10 Ks. There they are. Anyway, we're going to the batter's card for the blade. And he is a C2. And that's a ground out. Second base. Bringing up <clears throat> Merv Rettman. I'm using DHs in this uh, MLB Super League. Eight against the uh, A pitcher of Tommy John takes us to the batter card for Merv Rettman. He is an A. A7 is a single. Merv Rettman. <coughs> Don Buford's up. Three, we go to the control, which is also an A for Tommy John. But that's a 12 on the yellow die, which is a walk. I think Tommy John's getting tired. <clears throat> Paul Blair with a nine. We go to his batter card. 
and it's a B, B4, and it's a fly out left field. Two outs in the inning, first and second, Frank Robinson is up. With an eight, we go to his card, Frank Robinson is an A, A12. Oh, that'll take us to the power rating for Frank, and a C8, not, not a C, an A power rating. Eight is a home run right there. So there you go. Frank Robinson rubs it in with a three-run home run. And we'll see if Tommy John will go ahead and replace him mercifully at this point. That's too bad. He was off to a nice start. Look at that. So he's most likely going to get the loss in this game. He did go six two-thirds giving up six runs. Here's his numbers down here. Eight hits, two walks, and 10 Ks. And who's going to come in? <clears throat> oh, boy. I guess uh, he's green. Elias Sosa. Elias Sosa, the new pitcher. And he is an A, good for one inning, and A control as well. So Boog's the batter. We have a 10. We go to the batter card. Sosa being a right-handed pitcher. Boog's rating is an A. It's an 11. Ooh, that'll send us to power. He is an A6, and that is a double. So the Orioles inning continues, brings up Brooks Robinson with an 11 against the A goes to the batter card. And he will go down one, being a righty to a C, C7. That's a fly out to right field. But the Orioles do the damage. Eddie Watt uh, will try to get another inning in with him. He'll go down to an A, I mean to a B, from an A to a B. I'm sorry, he'll go from a B to a C. Try to get one more inning out of him. So C11 for Russell, go to the batter's card. And it is uh, B uh, against the right-handed Eddie Watt. So B10 will take it to the power. For Russell, which is a C, and a C11, C11 is a home run. Wow. Well, there you go. Tighten it up a little bit. 6-3. And Earl's thinking about coming out and pulling Eddie. We'll try, see how far he can go. Lopes is up with an 11 against the C. We'll go to the batter card for Davey Lopes. A right-handed batter. Take him to a C5. It's a fly out left field. Lee Lacey's the batter with a two against the C. We'll go to his control rating, and that is a C1, and that's a strikeout. And Reggie Smith comes to the plate with two outs. We have a seven against the C, goes to the batter's card. Reggie's a switch hitter. So he's an A2, and that's a ground out to third base. Takes us to the eighth. Elias Sosa uh, will go down to a B this inning. Against Elrod Hendricks, we have a B, a seven roll, goes to the batter card. Against Hendricks, a right-handed Sosa. That's a D5, <clears throat> ground out to the second baseman. Davey Johnson's up. 12B go to the batter's card, Davey Johnson. And that'll make him a C6. And that is a fly out to center field. The blade's up with two against the B. We'll go to the control rating, and that's an A11, and that'll be a base on balls for the blade. Brings up Merv Rettman, 
to seize control. And Sosa is an A11. Another walk. I think Sosa's getting tired. We'll try one more batter. <clears throat> 7C. We go to the batter card for Don Buford. And he is a B3. And that is a ground out. Ends the inning in the eighth. Okay, I think we're going to go to Pete Richard at this time and see if we can't get two innings out of him for the save. Eddie got his two innings in. He did give up a run, a hit, no walks, and a strikeout. And we're going to go to Pete Richard as we start the bottom of the eighth. Steve Garvey's up. Pete Richards' rating is an A. So we have an A2. That's a K. Pete will go down on his second inning since he has a fatigue factor of one. Three, we go to control. He is also an A there, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, he is. A12, though, is a walk. Brings up Ron Say. Go to the batter card, and he will go down to a D against the right-handed Richard, except Richard is left-handed, so he's a C5. Fly out left field. Steve Yeager's up with the A. Go to the batter card, and he's a C1, and that's a line drive out to the first baseman. Paul Blair's up. I went ahead and replaced uh, Sosa. He's been in for two and a third. <clears throat> so Mike Garman is now in the game, and he is an A pitcher. Facing Paul Blair with a seven. We go to the batter card for Blair. Uh, Paul Blair. He's a C, C12. We'll go to his power. And that's a B, B6, and that is a double, leadoff double for Paul Blair. Six, we go to a defense check of seven. The left fielder for the Dodgers is Dusty, and that's a B4. He will make the play, and the runner will hold. Boog Powell's up with an 11. Go to the batter's card with an A7. That's a one-base single. Runners on first and third. Bringing in Brooks Robinson up. Now 11 goes to the batter's card. Brooks is a B against Garmin. B11 will go to the power. Brooks's power is B2. Mm. Fly out uh, left field, and that'll score a run. Paul Blair will score from third base on that. Bringing up Ellie Hendricks with a four. And then we'll go to control a eight. And that is a strikeout for Garmin. So Pete Richard is down to a B as we enter the bottom of the ninth. And let's see how this plays out. With Rick Monday, a 10. We go to the batter's card. Pete Richard is a lefty. Rick Monday's a lefty. He goes to a D10. And that is going to take us to his power. And that's a C, C11. That's a home run for Rick Monday. There you go. Another run. Bill Russell's up one against the B is a K. Because Richard was an A, correct. And now he goes down to a B. And that's a four, control, eight, and that is a K. Last batter is Lee Lacey, and he went to his power, but it ended up being a fly ball to left field. I'm out of time, folks. That's the end of this game. O's win, 7-4.